Hello everyone, I'm Greek Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 63 of Factorio with the C block mod. Where we are working on glass because we decided to start focusing on this farming science stuff. And we need glass for at least arboretums, maybe more stuff. So we are doing that. And we haven't started yet, but we have made the production block in Hellmod at least. So we need four blast furnaces actually smelting this stuff. And that needs to be put into assembling machines. Can we do it in any other machine? No. And then into powder mixers and then into induction furnace. Okay. I think we need some of these machines made first just to try and set everything up in a way that we like. We need powder mixers at least. But I don't even think we have the recipe for that. Why am I not just searching in here for powder? No powder mixers. Powder metallurgy. Yes, please. I can't do that part yet, but when I believe I remember it's a two by two entity, so yeah, we need four of those for each of those. We can just use the electronics assembling machine as an analog, I guess, just to start out with. Do we have everything else? Blast furnace, yes. Assembling machines, not enough. Let's also grab some of those. Some inserters, I guess. And we have enough induction furnaces? No. I think we had a chest with some of these machines somewhere. Maybe this is the one. Felt like we had more though, but I might be wrong, so let's just grab some more machines. Just need seven, good. 20 of these. Okay. And let's just see. It should be easy to make these. Yeah, it is. Okay. Also want the tier 2 machines at some point here, so maybe we should automate bricks. But then on the other hand, maybe we don't want to produce these at the same spot as we produce everything else, because we do need a lot more different resources for it. And it would be a lot easier if we had the robots. But I have no idea how far out in the future robots are. Construction robots and logistic robots are just green science, it seems, but needs at least red circuits. Also, we need the requester chests. I'm not sure where they are. Let's just look through this. This is all stuff we can make, I believe. So. Request. So those require a lot more. For science, I mean. I wonder if it's easy to just bootstrap that technology. It's just that robots help a lot when you get them with more complex recipes where you just need a small amount of production of it. On the other hand, we could also just try and bootstrap all the machines instead of having them on the bus. And we can just bring resources to chests just for this stuff. 
it seems. Very low low technology, I guess. Pretty stupid to do in Factorio, but I'm not sure I want to uh, design something that can make this, for example, right next to the production of the tier one machines that already require a lot of stuff. Well, of course, just make a new area, but still. I'm not sure what I want, as always. For now, let's just ignore everything. And get the powder mixers. Oh, we're actually starting to get low on iron, it seems like it. We do need more iron at some point, but I've said that so many times that you already know, of course. Let's just get this part, or try to design something for this part. Mm, let's turn off robots and let's try to use... No, it's actually easier to design everything if you just have the actual machines. Can't even do these yet. Silicon smelting. Yeah, so we need that as well. Okay. For each of these, we need five assembling machines. And I'm not sure we can do this, but I'm just. Well, trying to design something here. And for each of these, we would need four powder mixes. That does not look like something we can do. How do we ever get four in there for that one? So if we just start with one of these and try to design for that first. Because we can just make some more of these and have fewer assembling machines for each. It would still be something like that, I guess. These could be in here just to save a little bit of space. I think, yeah, because we could transfer there, there, power everything. That looks nice. So how many of these are this type of setup can we fit near a furnace here? Do something like that. This. But then we would still need to get the output of these powder mixers into induction furnaces. Maybe we should just use belts instead of this, but on the other hand, we could probably get all of this onto belts. Let's get this part removed. Let's just rethink a little bit. So we could also do it like this. Let's, let's keep that just because it's somewhat pretty at least. So it might be a possibility to do something like that. I'll grab that. Again, we can make more of these, so it's not really a problem. But we need 20 mach assembling machines total. 
And that would mean we would need 10 of these, which we do not have the space for here at least. On the other hand, we don't really need 15 glass per second, I don't think. But still. This would still be five of them. But that's obviously a lot better. Something simple, no, not really. I can't fit three in even with this sort of setup. So I think this is just the most dense we're gonna get at least. If it's still the thing we want to do, I'm still not sure, but let's think a little bit further. So we need seven induction furnaces for this for five of these setups. We could just do two of them per setup. So for each setup on each side. Oh yeah, have one for each belt here. scaling these up to 10 but that's fine i think this is one fifth of what we need at least it looks about right yeah and then these need to go into four of these that's pretty simple That's also one fifth of what we need, and then we just output the glass. I'm not too. Uh, I'm trying to say, I'm not too unhappy about this layout, to be honest. It looks somewhat pretty. Just gonna get the silicon in here, and that's fine. We need more science, so let's get that done. I am just trying to make up my mind if we want to do something a little bit different. But that mainly relies on having to produce less of this stuff, so let's not do that. We also would need more than a belt of silicone ore for this, instead of just one belt as we get as output, but I think I'm okay with that. We just make a little bit more space between these. We can have the belt right up against that. The output belt, that is. Which I like. Just to save a little bit of vertical space. Could probably also do more, actually. Put these up further. And then put these in here. instead. That is a little bit tight on space. We can move these out even further though. Wait, we need to output from these as well. And input from this. This is easy. This is less so with this in the way, at least. This is fine.
Oh, we don't need to move that down. This brilliant input there. Oh, that's not good. Just trying to figure out if we can have enough input from this build. It's a bit hard to tell without it running and showing how much throughput we have. But it should only be two per second for each side here, so four in all for this. So that should be easily handled by just one inserter, I think. degree insert at least and then back to these and we want to the output of those being a problem Could I put from those two there on the belt going out? And then outputting from these auto machines like that. We are able to power that. this basically and they transfer between each other actually why is there an output for this stuff well there isn't for most recipes so I don't think that's a possibility uh, and we need it the silicon smelting as well. Where did that go? Behind nitrogen. Okay. I'm not too happy about this scheme here. And are we even saving space? We are only building to here, so we are saving a little bit. We are maybe losing a tile back here, actually. But maybe we should just go with this and get it running. Now five times this is more than we usually have space for here. Let's split it up into two. Or we could just go for four and split that up into two, I guess, and mirror it, something like that. It's worth considering at least. I need to make fuel and carbon as well on this side. That's why I'm not going too far this way. The silicon, there it is. I mean, this seems pretty dense, so what could we really gain by trying to design it differently? Could we save any space if we moved this in one tile? It would also have to go up one tile then. So it actually becomes wider or taller to make it less wide. But then this is still in the way, so no. Though this could go in here. We could still insert to that. If 
if it was that width instead, also we can save a belt in here. But if this is the width, we save some space, then we could probably fit in three, maybe. But nah, okay. Let's stop wasting time here and just get to it. We're using this. If we can fit everything in. We still need to see it running, of course. And replace all of these with powder mixers. Let's go grab some more steel gear wheels. Because I hate manual labor. We're still doing manual labor, obviously, but... Yeah. The small things. Let's first of all just move this where we need it because we are going to have our silicon coming in here. We are only really allowed to build to this point. So let's do that. I just want to do a last check before we put all of this stuff down, I think. Well, maybe not. Let's try doing it. We can just do only half if we want to. So let's just remove this part. If we need to remove everything, it would be nice to not have to redo everything. Or remove everything, I guess. Well, we have nanobots, so it's probably not really a problem. Also, we obviously need fuel and carbon coming in. So we need to move it out one tile further. Let's do that. And we are gonna have the fuel on the far build. Because we need more silicon than we need fuel and carbon. And we're going to design that last. Let's see this first, I guess. Or do we want... I mean, we want to see stuff running, so it would be nice with some carbon. Where did I make the carbon again? Here. Maybe we should just go grab a little bit just to see stuff running. That seems like a good idea right now, but who knows. Just give me a little bit more, please. That's probably fine. Did I grab some tin color wire? Yes. Good. So we can do more research toward farming, I guess if we need any more research. Or we could just go with whatever quality of life stuff we can get. Still been good in power? Yes. And we have more than enough fuel, right? Yep. Good. Just making sure. We can now make silicon ingots. Let me move this up, up one tile. Nah, that's probably not very useful. We can just do this. 
We just can't. We can only have one magic degree insert on each side for this stuff. Let's get the silicon in. I guess this is our only use for the silicon at the moment, so let's just put it all in. We're gonna use carbon as our only fuel, or both as fuel as an, and as an input, if I could speak. 2.5 fuel value and you get 5 for every 2 charcoal, no, 3 for every 2 charcoal. So it is less fuel value. But I think it's easier to just have one resource on this belt. Anyway, it's not really a problem. Uh, so for now, for testing, let's just put some carbon on there. Put it in a chest, stop doing manual work. Please give me that carbon, thank you. Like that. No, it's what it was correct. Like this and like that. Good. Thank you. We have a lot of insurance from the silicon. That seems like a good idea. But maybe we should do carbon with these middle ones. It should be more than enough input, I think. That's right. Good, good. Now we need to pulverize it. Was that done? I do not have that recipe yet. Okay. Pulverize stuff. Here we go. This one. Good. need to put stuff into that. How much do we need to input? One silicon ingot per second, because we have 20 machines to 20 ingots per second. So this should be fine, I think. And this should be fine. Output, output. No recipe shit, but that's coming, I think. Maybe not. Uh, this, sure. Well, we need more stuff for that. Wait, does this require any of the cooling stuff? I would really like that not to be the case, but it doesn't look like it. No, so we just need some more research, okay. Good to know. Am I overcomplicating stuff? I can make molten silicon from silicon ingots. Why am I powderizing stuff and mixing it. Uh, let's just have a look here. Making that problem. Why is this our only person? Oh, it's molten glass, not molten silicon. Dang it, I'm stupid. So... We, yeah, for molten glass, and this gives us the molten glass stuff and the glass mixture. 
This is just for these things. Yeah, okay. My bad. We're still waiting on recipes, but we can still try to figure out the outputs and stuff here. Check there, you will be below. How did I think I could do this again? I'm not entirely sure about that. I have this in the middle to start with, and then it would be... No, then it wouldn't even be simple. I'm not sure how I thought I would do that. Can we do it, though, in some weird way? These are set correctly, right? This can take from that, and that's fine. It makes some more space here by doing that. Can't really... We don't have insert of possibilities for going diagonal yet. Can we get that? Oops. This one, we can. I think that's at least what we want, unless this is the one. In any case, we need more research, and we're just waiting on that. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode, so thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.